Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 28th of January 2020. So yesterday, before the Fed spoke, the futures tumbled ahead amid growing hedge fund force liquidation fears. There has been a shift in the tone of the markets in the last few days. It certainly has, and this was preempted by the low in the implied volatility uh, last week that we saw, which we'll come to in just a moment. And as Blaine said, the market's uh, madness will continue. We're in a new world. It, well, it's uh, actually continued for the last 13 years. It shouldn't even be where it is now, except that it's been Fed money printed out of fresh air and pumped into the markets. If it reads like a runaway train, it's because it is. And the uh, implied volatility uh, shows this. Last week, uh, I warned that we had a low in the implied volatility. And when we get down into these lows, then we can expect the market to correct. And that's what we're seeing. We've seen the implied volatility moving higher and currently yesterday at 24.95. Now, the first uh, area of support that you will see in the market is when the implied volatility doubles from the low that it made, which is 16.31. So around 33% in the implied volatility, if the correction continues, will be the first uh, area where the market will find support. And you can see this now, we've gone from amber to red with this uh, correction starting in the market. Again, it's uh, nothing at the moment, as you can see here. And we'll look at this in more detail in a moment. You can see the other corrections here. Once the market gets down to the 20 bar or closes below the 20 bar, then we start to see some sort of support coming into the market. So let's have a look at the Dow first. And uh, yesterday we can see that so we had a big day to the downside, down 633 points in the cash market. The market uh, from this low to this high trading to uh, close to the 89 overnight and the market finding some support and trading back, which we can see at the moment, but down to 78% for yesterday for the Dow. So they're going to do whatever they can to try and bring this market back. So I'm just going to remove some of these uh, fibs on the downside. And uh, you can see that's an old one, so we'll get rid of this. And then what we're going to do is uh, go from uh, this high, all-time high, down to the overnight low, which I don't think I can actually draw on uh, because uh, it's actually in progress. So uh, what I'm going to do is use yesterday's low just to get give us an idea of where we can expect prices to move to the upside. You can just move these numbers down. Uh, about 10 20 points and that will give you a pretty good idea of where that resistance will be on the upside as prices attempt to move higher let's have a look at uh, the german dax and uh, same thing here what i had to do yesterday was keep drawing and moving the uh, fibs down and eventually the market stopping at 62 uh, percent we'll look at the other fibs as we look at the detail of what happened yesterday they're all in the the live recording so let's uh, just move a few of these as well. And uh, we can see yesterday where the market went through the 15, sorry, 13,564. Very important level, as you'll see, yesterday afternoon's uh, session. Uh, but again, like the Dow, the market is currently at the 62% retracement. So from the, what I'm going to do is actually go from this high first. Uh, and if the market moves through the fibs, and I'll move to the second one, which won't be too dissimilar, to be honest. And then you've got this. So you've got sort of three points that are left behind here. So from here down to here is the first areas I would look at for any sort of a bounce to find uh, prices struggling. Uh, we're way through the 20 bar moving average. The five is below the 20. And then what I'm going to look for here as well is uh, just to pull this back is the 200 MA as well. Always looks like it's a long way off until prices get uh, near it, which you can see there they do. They, and if they get down to the 200, they are likely to bounce and move back to the upside, which is uh, what we've seen uh, many times before. But uh, first of all, we've got to get through all of these other areas of support as well. So looking at both sides today, they're gonna do whatever they can to try and bring this market back. And if that fails, then uh, the downside targets through the 62 is going to be uh, 13,284. Plus, you'll have these lows to the left as well. So if you want to mark these up, then use these as reference points as they slot in between both the 78 and the 89. So it's important to cover all bases, both up and down. We don't know what's going to happen. We've got a pretty good idea that the market's having 
not taken out so yesterday's low so far in the overnight are going to try and bounce the market and if this fails then we'll come back and also uh, which is already marked up on today's chart the low as well so these areas here up and down are what you want to make a note of take a screenshot or mark up the chart on the intraday uh, one that you're actually trading so that you've got a reference to these areas. you'll see why it's important as we go through the uh, review of yesterday's uh, data and market activity so in the two minute chart uh, we can see uh, prices finding support more or less where they closed on the previous day and then uh, rallying up to the dp level and at the dp level the prices have struggled they've actually closed below or traded below the 200 ma and now heading to the downside just as uh, the futures are opening as i'm recording this so you can see uh, some weaknesses i'm going to just uh, compress all this data the low is going to be the crucial one this morning if prices open and they trade down to the low they've really got to buy the market back at this point and if not and if they trade up to the dp and there's resistance and they're selling then uh, we're likely to move back to the downside as well but the low is absolutely fundamental to this market today to hold if it doesn't hold yesterday's low then uh, we go down to these areas of uh, support here but if it does then watch out on the upside for these two uh, areas of resistance as well okay that uh, will do it for the first part let's move on and have a look at uh, yesterday's uh, market activity so let's just have a quick look at news today before we do that uh, see that the euro um, cpi now has been downgraded to a low impact news item as well incredible i don't know why they're doing this but they have at the moment so i have to sort of be selective now when i'm going through here just to bring up those news items that we used to look at all of the time uh, us we've got uh, advanced gdp and unemployment claims and what else have we got uh, cb leading index new home sales have been downgraded as well um, natural gas storage not something that uh, we've looked at before uh, if you trade energies then that's of interest but there you go that's so that's today's highlighted uh, news items there and it was a bit uh, lackluster once the futures opened uh, yesterday morning uh, just reloaded the charts there and then uh, we kick off the market uh, moving sharply lower they traded down to the dp level you can see them buying back in here huge volume narrower bar prices coming off the low and then they attempt to bring up prices uh, back struggle at the 62 they try up to the 78 and the 20 bar moving average eventually they manage to get the bounce they want and then prices uh, show uh, close above the 20 bar moving average and then struggle and then we get a potential sell signal here so all set for prices uh, to move lower and uh, just around this time i just what i'm doing here is just showing you what happened in the uh, the one minute at this area you can see that we've got uh, a lot of volume uh, buying pressure coming into the market just as this traded down towards uh, the scalp so uh, at this point i had to leave uh, received a phone call from my father-in-law his heating wasn't working and my son is uh, a plumber and he's uh, taught me the finer points of uh, central heating boilers which uh, frankly i could have done without yesterday so i had to go because uh, the house was freezing cold so you won't see any update on the chart now until uh, an hour and a half uh, later unfortunately i missed the the buy trade there uh, just coming back though you can see prices moved down to the dp again uh, and the 78 percent of retracement that i drew in before I actually left and then uh, prices uh, moved up to the 200 ma uh, i'm just going to fast forward through this there you go so now eventually i managed to uh, get back at uh, 20 to 10. so the market uh, stuck at that 200 ma that was the high for the day and then prices uh, started to drift to the downside so what i'm going to do now is move over to mid-morning because uh, i started to watch this having missed out on the points earlier I decided to pick up some trades because we got the momentum you can already can see that we're we're down uh, 50 points we've gone through the dp level uh, markets uh, now got the five the 20 and the 200 all in the right order 
and uh, the correction is underway so you can see prices moving low and what I'm doing is switching back to see where we are I and mean, you can see yesterday that so when I was looking at this and trading this we were just approaching the 78% retracement from this low to this high in the 89 and the market went through this and I've got these other two longer term fibs here and then this level as I spoke about earlier the 13564 which I was keeping an eye on as well and we've got the we just go back to this getting too excited here and moving ahead of myself um, wherever it is was the low uh, I was, was going to highlight the low which uh, I can't seem to oh there we go was to highlight uh, the low as well but that's already on the daily chart or the two minute chart the intraday chart so you can see the climatic volume there the market trying to attempt to come back and at this point again I'm weighing up what's likely to happen and then decide to get short because we're going to go down and retest uh, the low so I'm looking for an opportunity keep coming back and checking see if the market's going to bounce off that 89 percent off from here to here we're at it and that's why the market had this climatic buying you should see here this is a result of the 89 percent area in the daily chart they tried to bring it back and then uh, once we break we see prices then moving to the downside you can see all the time i'm coming back and checking the daily chart to see where we're going to next and that is from uh, this low to this high to here see if the market will hold if not then we go through the the this we go to the low and then we go to the 564 so again all I was doing was waiting for the markets to come back close back below the five bar moving average and then try and get a position uh, and this worked fine as uh, the market didn't even uh, attempt to make any close above the 20 bar moving average and it just kept coming back and then moving to the downside eventually prices started to find some support you can see now we're heading towards the low get support here and a couple of spikes in the green volume which you'd expect support down here as well and then we get uh, the bounce off so prices uh, bounce off the low no surprise there is it we've seen this time and again now coming back and approaching this level uh, there you can see the climatic volume again very important level so if you're thinking of going short just as you get towards the low then watch out because they're going to try and bring it back the same as uh, driving through the high the opposite as the market moves up you get the opposite whereas they want to drive it through the high it's not so much a resistance unless you've got a bear market so price is now down at uh, the low which we can see and then we have this shakeout where does it shake out to you will see the market uh, come back to uh, that uh, 64 level which is just in this area just goes through it and uh, then prices uh, find support and they bring it back and then we open for the afternoon session I'm just going to now you can see we've already gone through the 64 and then we've I've marked up some more fibs now because uh, we just kept going through them yesterday uh, market then finding support again you can see them holding it here at uh, the 500 level before uh, prices then succumb to further selling no not closing at all above the uh, 20 bar until we get uh, a move back they're trying to do whatever they can to bring the market back now interestingly enough here we've got a, a sell signal and when it turned up I thought we're going to have a problem with uh, trying to go short again because the markets moved over 300 points uh, by this uh, time in the in the market after the US opened we'd already done a lot in the mid morning and 58 458 we're going to have a problem here because it's really overextended this is the biggest move we've seen in the DAX for a long time and they're going to do whatever they can to bring the market back so when we had there's the the 50 level there's the 61 at the s2 and you'll see prices are brought back at this area so it's going to be tough to actually send the market back to the downside and immediately we see them buying back as soon as the market is filled here you got the spike in volume the not closing below the five bar moving average they're about to cross 
and then take out this uh, BRN at the 50 level as well. And that, unfortunately, is what happened. But when you read the markets on a bar-by-bar -bar basis, you can see what's uh, what's happening. We then get uh, a close above the fivers cross the 20, and then prices trade sideways, and then they manage to bring the market uh, back towards uh, the low, which you'll see there. And then just get through the low and we've got selling pressure through the low, which you can see here because the volume is greater than the previous bar and the range is less. And prices then trade sideways, waiting for uh, Powell to speak at 7 p.m. And then later on in the evening, you'll see uh, prices moving lower. So again, once we got to that low, the market now wanted to move above this and we see prices move 50 points high above the low as well once they close back above the five bar moving average five bars back above the 20 bar and then prices moving back to the next brn and they're coming off the lows towards the end of the trading session there so a lot to get through a lot of information there uh, but just the thoughts on how the market unfolded in real time yesterday uh, just to show you how it works. This is uh, not unusual. If the market has moved 300 points lower, they're going to do whatever they can to bring the market back. But of course, as uh, we went into uh, the evening session and Powell spoke, this is the Dow five minute chart. Uh, you can see that uh, the market just went uh, south. Uh, big style. Have a look at how many points uh, this uh, moved. And you'll see uh, as we got to towards the close that's 22.9 uh, and there you'll see 453 points down it was down more than that but that was just in the evening session uh, for the Dow so let's just have a, another quick look see where we are with uh, what's going on the market uh, still sideways in the daily chart there okay that will do it uh, for this one if there's anything else to report I will let you know but as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one